My name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Elden Ring, where I bring you back as we ponder the map. In particular, this big old poison field up here, and these townships or ruin ships up here. These graves, uh, maybe not necessarily acceptable. Uh, acceptable, sorry, accessible. And what looks like a church there in the far distance as well. Let's drop down some beacons. And then do the thing that I was supposed to do in the other episode. Go to Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, and say, hey, I don't need dexterity anymore. I think I need some dexterity for the cannon. I think I might need 12. But that's all I need. All of the rest of it can go elsewhere. Yes, 12. Oh, is it time? I would like to be born anew, please. No. Give you a larval tier for it. So first things first. 12 decks. Need that. I've been enjoying the amount of endurance I have, as well as the fact that is enough for me to wear my equipment. I've been enjoying the amount of vigor we have, definitely, as well. <laughs> like, should I? <laughs> just just go all in. I could go to... Effectively, like, the point of scaling, right? It scales best... Up until 55, apparently. 55 or 56. After which we start getting even more diminished returns. That would leave us then with 22 more levels that I can apply. I can pop 15 of those into Endurance, 4 of those into Vigor. And still have the ability to pop 3 more out into something. I think let's get some more Vigor. I think this is right. Thank you for the rebirth. Great Club 17. We're still medium load. We've got the right equipment as far as I'm concerned, at least. Prince of Death Cysts for the increased vitality. Not really going to need that until we go to a specific area. All right. Having now picked that up, we have one of the other statues in an early area that we were also looking to destroy. I'm not entirely certain how I'm going to be destroying the one in Stormvale Castle because the omen outside of it doesn't seem to have enough force to do so. Really thought they would have. It's the only large enemy I can think of still remaining in the air. Whoa. Roderica left us something here. A golden seed! Much appreciated. I think I actually might... Yeah, <laughs> I have enough golden seeds for possibly up to two new flasks. If they're both fours. Please don't scale to five halfway through this. Four. Four! Yes. Now, yeah, this cannon doesn't even scale with dex. Right, so I literally just need the requirement to be able to hold it. Dex does literally nothing else for me. I mean, I guess, okay, it is increase in the speed of the resolution of my spells. But we haven't been doing spells for a little bit of time. Not really spells, incantations, sure. Still haven't been doing them. This doesn't look like the field where the giants are. Like, this is clearly a golem. Now, I didn't need to kill that, but I did want to. Starlight Shard. Not respawned? Is that it? I can't remember distinctly where this area is. 
It's where we fought Deathbird, basically. So it's a giant open field with a bunch of storm giants. You're looking at that? Yeah, okay. With a bunch of storm giants, as well as some broken pillars. And naturally, the statue that we are looking to exploit. Definitely makes sense it would be in this... Eh, in this area? Probably not in that area. I always get pretty confused about where this is. It might actually be here-ish. Right, Nomadic Merchant. I always think I assume this is way further left on the map than it is. Also, my waypoint there isn't going to help me much at all, unfortunately. Actually, I think it's teleport to the War Master Shack and then basically just ride through south? And I think I almost remember doing this when I was trying to search for Death Bird. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we found it. Alright, Jay. You wanna come along? You wanna come hang out? Alright, whichever one of you wants to take it out first, that's fine. Perfect. I was about to say, whoever takes it out first can live. I gotta say, I'm really also enjoying the size of the health bar at the moment. By the way, when I said you can live, I did lie. Or did I? Sudden turn of honor here. That's five smithing stone ones and a smithing stone two. That's incredible for an early pickup. Hmm. Some important routing information for the future. Uh, it is not nighttime. Or at least I didn't think it was nighttime. I don't know why we've not got a war master here. Take that down for a sec. Which now gives us the ability to immediately leap back to our... Gelmir beacons. So this... Going directly north from here looks like the topography of the map allows me to go up. And then around to the ruins that I'm looking at. But as we've seen previously in the Flame Frenzied Village... That is not always entirely 100% perfectly reliable. But it does look like it will be here. And in fact, it looks like at the very top... Whoa. <gasps> it's Millicent! Hey, Millicent! What's up, Millicent? Ah, we meet again. We do indeed. In truth, it's been smooth sailing for me. The Scarlet Rot has stilled oh. since last we met as such. I've been able to continue my journey, though rather vexingly, I realized that if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. Though rather vexingly, if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in now battle. Now I'm tracing the path Melania took after unleashing the power of the Scarlet Rot during her battle with General Radan in the Caled Wilds. I should like to meet her. This vanished woman. I think she's in the north, in the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. Now, she's passing the, the passing the path that Melania took. In lands north of the Erd Tree, so here's the Erd Tree. So, I guess we're talking here-ish. We can already see two steels for unlocking more of the map as well. I imagine we've basically just fulfilled some conversational triggers and we'll see you again in the future, Millicent. But for the moment, let me return to what I was doing. The guide and gatekeeper for those returning to Root. So we'll be finding a catacomb dungeon up here. Or at least the directions towards one. The beast eye quivers! Finally! Excuse me, may I? Oh, well... <laughs> 
now I know why it's quivering. There's a Tibia Marina over there. So it's going to be the same boss every time. Go ahead and gatekeeper for those returning to roots. And you are pointing up and basically towards that. Let's pop a four down. I don't think this is going to be a problem at all. Run in. Oh, boy. Okay. They can summon something worth a damn now. I am so pleased to see it. I do like this feeling that we're just walking on water and there's a a giant skeleton lurking slightly beneath the waves, ready at any point to erupt and sink back into the depths. The Tibia Marina themselves is probably around here summoning in a different area. You'd have to assume, right? Holy damage. Now, because I wasn't locked on, I don't know how much that did. And obviously, it's not the default actual main boss here. Oh, did it dispel it? It might have just straight up dispelled it with holy damage somehow. Yeah, looked like that did maybe a thousand damage. Well, thank you for flattening the other one. Now, I definitely didn't need to do most of that. But I didn't want to. Alright, Tibia. Don't think there's any poise attack we can actually do there. You've moved. Let's go find you again. just resurrection in that area and not necessarily the reappearance of the Tibia Marina. I do also have to make sure I don't constrain my opinion of where the Tibia Marina can be to just the water, because it can sail on land, as we've seen before. Ah, that's it. Way up in the back there. Caught a glimpse of your purple aura, man. of the fact that one missed. Let me get close enough to do a golden land. Beauty. I'll take my death route for the trouble. Wait. Oh, some of you were actually just in the environment. Some of you didn't get raised by Tibia Marina. You were just there. So that's why they're still fighting us. Um, I mean, I don't need to deal with them immediately, right? In fact, possibly not at all if they don't follow me. It was too good of a try. You were too close. I'm afraid you'll have to pay for that with your life. Nice step. Ooh, interesting. 
I don't know if that's the first time I've seen, like, a Rancor spell manifest in the real world, but it does make sense that it would be manifest from the skeleton that he is trying to cast, given we learned about Rancor from Necromancer Garrus, or rather it was the identifiable power of Necromancer Garrus. Feldrake Talisman there for non-physical damage negation. For a second I thought this was a message, but it's just a Golden Rune 1. So that's the topper side of that. I mean, this does feel like where the statue is pointing towards. So I probably need to be a little bit more thorough in my searching of this area. But before I do that, let's go down and also search the area we just came from. Take a couple golden runes so far. Actually, I'm just going to get back on Torrent. I don't think I'm going to need to scour over every little inch of this place with my own feetsies. Golden seven. A couple Stormhawk feathers. Not seeing any terrain that looks like it might hide a secret path downwards. At least yet. And let's finally check out the Sodom section. Room three, a couple characters starting to get back up as well. Thankfully, this looks relatively sparsely decorated. By and large, empty. Easy. I mean, in terms of looking for a catacomb, it's possible that it's all the way behind here, because we don't know exactly how far the game is telling us it is. Just the direction. I'll take a side of grace along the way. Ooh. That looks like it might have a smithing stone in. A somber smithing stone. Wait, are you an art of war? I never recognize them, and I never will. We staggered you from a hit that didn't even manage to hit you. Ash of War Barrage. For a bow. A little bit more volcanic rock, as well as a... Ten arrows. Probably one of the last things I would have guessed. So there's just these flame vents that we're going to have to deal with as effectively area traps. Got it. Um, let's get some light on as well so I know that I'm not missing anything in any of the corners. It's almost seeming like the game assumed this was how I was going to approach Gelmir. Okay. I mean... None of this is looking like it's actually the catacomb that was being pointed towards. So we may have to return to and solve that at some other point. 
But in the meantime, I'll loot all these fives. Uh-huh. I saw a group of items over here and immediately knew, oh, this has to be a trap. But what's the trap? Basilisks. Basilisks is the trap. Thankfully, they can't get me off my horsey for the life of them, so we will be more than fine. Oh, I thought you were a nomadic merchant. I was going to let you live. I can't make a liar out of myself by not finishing that threat. What example will I set for the next generation that won't exist because I keep killing people? Seethe Teeth Cave, was that called? Seethe Water. I don't know what angered this water so. Just short of a kill with a single swing there. Actually, one thing this weapon might be able to do, because it doesn't have any elemental type damage. Can I buff this? I can. Cool. just been a lot of damage we've been missing out on so far because a lot of our weapons haven't had the ability to do so. Or, you know, it's only buffed half of our weapon set if we were power stancing at the time and it's like, eh. Eh. I could do better. Guess I should probably also put the boluses on the bar. Of course, there's going to be goo all about on these roofs. I should just make sure that none of it falls directly atop me. Largely just not stopping anywhere will completely prevent that. Doesn't really matter if I roll through the area that much either. So the reason that we're still taking the poison, despite having gotten out of the area, is because we'd rolled, because we've covered our entire armor set in poison at that point. And body. Yeah, get him, Golden Land. Four lumps of flesh, two cave moss. I'm really not used to my health bar being that large. Very, very keen on it though. A bit more poison bloom in this corner of the map as well. I think we should, yeah, probably just veer out left. I was wondering why these aren't so intimidating, but it looks like they become buffed and possibly significantly more powerful. Yep. If anyone nearby is poisoned. Now we did have some piece of equipment. It might have even been one of theirs that would give us a damage buff if anyone nearby was poisoned or affected by Scarlet Rot. that way. It's fine. Find our way to up fuel. Then you'll regret it. If it's the last thing you do. Yeah, a little bit further 
the river descent. It's more than fine to me. Back out into a main cavern. With another complete drop. We should back up before we go down this, though. Bit more budding cave moss, sure. Yeah, let's back up, back out of this area. We can also see a stake of Marika at the top of that. So I'm assuming basically I'd be dropping down into the boss fight there. All right, where's the big rat? There's always at least one huge rat. We already fought one earlier, but it didn't seem like it terminated a line, you know? Let's take, take some mushroom and the golden rune. Finally make these ones regret it. I did promise. Looks like there's maybe a praise room over on the other side as well. I was very much trying not to actually fall over the side there. Thankfully now I guess I know that if I do the strong follow-up on this weapon, I'm probably going to follow up the weapon's inertia in that direction. At least a little. Um, I am basically just immediately going to get poisoned as soon as I go back into the other area as well, so there's no real reason to get rid of this preemptively. Okay, around and then off to the right here. I'm just going to go into the middle and go... The amount of threat that you can provide to me is significantly lowered, Miranda Flower, when I don't care about getting poisoned. Hey, Miranda Flower, give me just a second. I gotta get the fire grease. All right. Thank you for generously offering that amount of time. I do feel like my jump attacks are significantly less effective than my previous power stancing attempts. But at the same time, I do have a weapon with which I can actually guard block right now, so I can also get guard counters on enemies. Which I've been completely cut off from for quite a while now. We know some cured meat. Mushroom head, body armor. Sorry, arms and legs? We already had a mushroom head. Or a mushroom crown we had. We were more mushroom nobility. As for our current set, though. Exceptionally light. No poise. Huge immunity and focus and fatality for, for as light as it is. Mushrooms found growing all over the body. These overgrown mushrooms have colonized the head. To those enraptured by scarlet rot, they are holy vestments that root one to earth. And the same information for all of the rest of them as well. Actually, I probably shouldn't have used the final neutralizing bolus there. At least with the possibility the boss fight will have some poisons involved as well. 
This is the way back out to the main room as well. That'll do it. I do also kind of want to see how this cannon does, just at the very start of the fight. I could have done that so much better if I didn't come down here unprepared with a different weapon and have to scamble, scramble and change. Okay. Alright, let's dive into this fight. Hello. Avon calling. This does look like the light of a fog wall. There it is. Maybe the other is a way to open a passage back? I think it makes the most sense to me, I guess. No, it's just to punish this very naughty rat. Get a golden rune six for our troubles. Alright, who needs to be flat? I am ready to provide. I've got my rolling pin. I'll need y'all something. Yes. All right. <laughs> the jump and thumb actually already gets them off poise. The poise damage of this weapon has to be pretty insane. Got him. We get the Kindred of Rot's Exaltation. Assuming, yeah, it is. Poisoning your rot in vicinity increases attack power, so again, uh, more of the same kind of effect. Raises attack power when poisoning or rot occurs in the vicinity. Rot for the Scarlet Goddess. Oh, Scarlet Blossoms, flourish in distant lands and return to us, the unwanted children. This can't have been the canicomb that was being pointed towards. I just don't believe it. I almost want to go back towards the pointer. Yeah. It's way... It's got to be here-ish, right? I almost want to teleport back. But there are just more lines outside of this cave as well to follow. I don't think the left will assist for that long. No, that was a item over that area. A group of items over in that area, guarded by the basilisks. Where did the... Where did all of the corpses fall from? They seem to just fall directly out of the sky, straight downwards. No sort of mannequin trap nearby or anything like that? Let's also get the... Lantern back on. Oof. I mean, serious damage with those. Fireproof dried liver? Probably worth it, especially if I manage to make my way through using them. I think we are now on the lowest path here. That's a 
side of grace in the distance, but... Ah, I was about to say, it hasn't got the lines drawing into itself, saying that it's a side of grace I haven't gotten yet. Which would have meant I had accidentally worked my way back onto a reasonable path here. Unacceptable. Perfect. Nothing doing there. We can see the jellyfish up in the other area, as well as a much more active battlefield than we've seen previously here. Most active battlefield I've seen in this area since the Shattering. I wasn't even on that. Spinning stone four. Over to the right. A lot of the flame giant heads as well. Magma worm in this area, of course, I was about to say, like, hang on, this lava is traversable. This isn't the end of our terrain. Can I please get off this? I was attempting to launch myself off torrent a couple times there in order to make a jumping attack, but didn't exactly want to work like that, apparently. Golden Land works pretty well there. Ooh! Yeah, the poise damage of this weapon has to be absolutely absurd. really surprised that didn't manage to strike me there. I thought they were going to go for the hit behind themselves, which is what I was preparing for. Damn it. I knew that you had to roll late against that attack as well. You know what? I deserve that. Thoroughly and through and through. I attempted to be a little bit too bold there. I attempted to go for a poise stagger against a target who I'd done no poise damage against recently, in, in living memory at least. I also do have another death route, which I really should go back and deliver to Gronk. See if I get an incantation worth reincorporating into the bills. Just respect two times in the same episode, very casual. Hang on. Let me. Oh, okay, the cannon's pretty good. Takes approximately one trillion years to hit, though. It's going to take a couple opportunities here to get some excess damage. Especially while it seems like I might be able to poise them a bit. Again, I assume that was just going to be under the armpit, effectively. I'm surprised that one missed. Hold for one moment longer, thank you. Yeah, we got this. Oh, 
kind of want you to get a lot more aggressive with your sword. Because we just get a lot more response on those. Obviously, it dictates the size of the battlefield a lot less. Damn it. I think I was trying to delay for a little bit of a late roll there. I figured I was going to be dealing with a shockwave there and had to jump. Good last minute roll. That'll get him. Down goes the Magma. Another great enemy fell. 19k on the pickup as well as a Dragon Heart. There is also a new Draconic Power available in Dra uh, the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. Butterfly, a Golden Room 3. No smoldering butterflies. Have I... Yeah. Oh, mountain of fire. Bake me in your flames. Oh, mountain of fire. Bake me in your flames. Who's getting hot and nasty out here? You? No. What? Uh, hey, bud. I mean, it did sound like your voice. Ah, good sir. What business might you have in such a... I hardly think you're here to temper yourself with flame, considering mm. that fleshly form of yours. Your timing, though, is impeccable as ever. I've been making just a thing for you on my journey here. Take it. I'm sure it'll suit you to a T. <laughs> Hardly more than lukewarm here. I won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. Hmm. Quite a thing to have heard. I will catch you there, bud. In the meantime, though, let's have a look at that piece of kit you've given us. We could finally incorporate some jar back into the build. Jar that fits cleanly over the head when upturned, made with pride by Iron Fist Alexander in an unlikely jar-like gesture of friendship. It boosts the power of throwing pot items. Am I ready to solo her? Should I wear it? I'll head it. There's an old uh, okay. set above the lofty Repeat the phrase we've already heard. Good to see you again, bud. It's been a while. My absolute pleasure to have clapped eyes on you. More demi humans there. Actually, maybe this is where the catacomb is, right? Oh, no, extremely not this. We'll take these golden runes while we're here. Again, another demi-human incursion into the city, and... Are y'all even going to be capable of breaking this? Oh. Someone appears to be firing explosive bolts. What happened? Because, like, the explosive bolts are the most... Ah, it was just a pot being thrown. And then how are we going to? So I can't destroy it with my own force. 
Getting the biggest enemy nearby to attack it also doesn't destroy it. Even a direct hit with a pot there didn't destroy it. Maybe I need to find a much more competent enemy in the nearby area and bait them down here. Same with the fell in the other area. Or all of these statues have a different method for being opened. And I don't know one of them. Roiling Magma is our next pickup of an incantation. No, sorcery? Sorcery. Uh, in 21 Faith 12, fire lumps of magma that explode after a delay. One of the sorceries developed by the Magma of Mount Gelmir. From the Magma of Mount Gelmir. After discovering the ancient hexes of Gelmir, Ricard, son of Queen Renala, we already knew that, brought them back into practical use as new forms of sorcery. Hmm. Ancient Hexes of Gelmir, the ancient Death Hex, was rediscovered by the necromancer Garrus. Oh, Timmy is summons. I assumed this was an Ash. Sorcery of the Servants of Death summons a group of those lost in death. The dead have long been left to wander. What they need is leadership. So perhaps Gelmir and the society that existed here prior to the Volcano Manor were... Here's me piecing it all together. Everything I've been trying to like point out in the last couple episodes in these areas. Perhaps there was a... A, 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 a death hex necromantic tribe or, or society here earlier... Perhaps they were uncorrupted as well, initially, but some part of their delving into the necromantic arts resulted in their cursing. They transformed as a group into the demi-humans, which would explain why they exist not in the battlefields here, but in the caves of Mount Gelmir. Would also explain why the demi-humans seem to have, like, hierarchy. A lot of the ones we fought recently have been, you know, the demi-human queen, blah, blah, blah. Whoa! Fancy attacks. I'm not gonna super want to do this battle with- Oh, I found the right enemy for it! Again, finally. Oh, Roomba! Thank you. Hey, no fair. I earned those items by throwing you at them. <laughs> Let me at him! I really just wanted to pick up the item. I just wanted to see what it was. The demi-humans in the area became corrupted by that knowledge. The downfall of their society occurred. The volcano manor took up residence, started to delve deeper into the area, delved too deep, learned some arcane secrets, some blasphemy, perhaps. And brought the downfall upon themselves as well. Ah, it's all the way around. All right. That's the, that's the bead we're looking for. The rest of this area, also super exciting. I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Actually, I'm gonna try something. Thank you. 
Now we didn't need that seventy thousand souls. That's that's just that's just a level. It's just a single level. That's all it is. I just wanted to see if I could kill one of them from behind instantaneously. I did not think I was going to be losing the seventy thousand there, but that's okay. We'll farm ourselves another 70,000 in the next episode. Until then, my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game. This has been Elden Ring. Hopefully you all been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist on the screen with the YouTube recommendation directly below it. Streaming past the names of the people so generously supported in Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody Plays. Out above the thank to you and a special thanks to this episode to Jazzy. Hopefully you all been enjoying yourselves and hopefully see you next time.